in the year 1858, our Blessed Lady appeared to St. Bernadette at the grotto in Lourdes, and she said, in answer to the question, who are you? I am the Immaculate Conception. And it's this truth, this great solemnity that we celebrate this Tuesday, the 8th of December. The Feast of Our Lady's Immaculate Conception sits like a little gem in the middle of Advent, preparing us for the birthday of our Lord. It's the doctrine which the Church has held from pretty much time immemorial, that our Blessed Lady was conceived without sin, that from the very first moment of her, con of her existence, she was redeemed by her son, Jesus Christ. The poet Wordsworth puts it very beautifully when he sums it up simply by saying, she is our tainted nature's solitary boast. And it's this boast of Our Lady's immaculate purity that we'll celebrate throughout the church on Tuesday, but we celebrate in a particular way in our parish here because we're under the protection of Our Blessed Lady, Our Lady of Lourdes. And as we know, that was the place where Our Blessed Lady actually articulated this truth, almost confirming, as it were, by her own words, what had been proclaimed by the Pope, Blessed Pius IX, just four years before when he proclaimed the doctrine of Our Lady's Immaculate Conception. So it's a great feast and it's one that gives great joy to our hearts in the midst of this Advent. And by a uh, lovely little tradition and custom, we start to put together, we start to construct our cribs after the 8th of December, so as to kind of create an anticipation for the birth of our Lord, accompanying Our Lady in this time as she prepares to give birth to the Saviour. Now, I said last Easter that this was going to be an Easter unlike any other. And I find I'm going to repeat those words again because we're going to celebrate Christmas in just over two weeks time. A Christmas like none other because things are going to be right, rather difficult for us. They're going to be restrictive. We've got to keep in place all those guidelines and measures that have been imposed upon us by the government. So for Mass, you need to book online, um, for Mass, daily Mass, for Sunday Mass, and especially for the Christmas Masses, please reserve a place online because we have to regulate the numbers for safety and for the COVID protocols. And if you don't book a place online, you won't be able to come into the church, sadly, on Christmas Day for Mass. However, our bishops have said that because of the extraordinary circumstances, we can celebrate our Christmas Mass any time during the Christmas octave. That's any time during Christmas week from Christmas Eve right up to the 1st of January. So if you can't get a place, if it's overbooked, then book a place on one of the other days during the Christmas week so that at least we can celebrate at Mass the word become flesh living amongst us on this earth and his abiding presence with us in the Blessed Eucharist. We have the custom, the tradition now of consecrating the parish to our Blessed Lady on each 8th of December. And at the end of Mass here on Tuesday, I'm going to once again renew that consecration of our parish to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. So we give, and this is what consecration means, we give ourselves to Mary. We give our hearts, our minds, our being to her, that she will, through her immaculate heart, through her motherly hands, present us to her son Jesus. So let's make this consecration on Tuesday together. Even if we can't be at Holy Mass, we could make this consecration at home, as individuals, as families, as school communities, so that placed under the loving protection of our Blessed Lady, in her immaculate purity, we may be kept safe and delivered from all dangers on this earth. So in anticipation of Tuesday's feast, I wish you a very happy solemnity of the Immaculate Conception. I assure you of my prayers. Please pray for me. God bless you and have a very good remainder of this holy season of Advent.